Hello, welcome back to Think Wonky. My name is Colette and I help content creators create content that has more impact. In today's episode, we are revisiting Canva and we're going to be looking at the Canva licensing terms and conditions. <sighs> it's not as boring as it sounds, I promise you, but it's one of those questions that comes up a lot. When can I sell or redistribute my work if it's using Canva elements, which I'm not allowed to sell or redistribute? Ah. Generally speaking, creative licensing can be a bit of a minefield and it can be quite confusing, but there are ways that we can break it down to make it very, very simple. And today's episode is all about understanding how creative licenses work and how you can use this knowledge to create better Canva graphics safe in the knowledge that you can use them for your business or your content without breaking any licensing terms and conditions. Before we dig in, Let's step back. Imagine you rent an apartment. It's a nice apartment and it's furnished and you're pretty happy with the deal that you've got. The question is, can you then sell the apartment? No, of course you can't because you don't own it. What about the furniture that comes with the apartment? Can you sell that? No, of course not, for the same reason you don't own it. And the same is true for creative elements in Canva. Whether we're talking about fonts, stock photography, illustrations, graphics, videos, and more. Essentially, the copyrights belong to the original creators of those elements. They are the owners. Canva is the estate agent. So what does this mean when it comes to creating content? Well, like any apartment lease, licenses come with different clauses that are often determined either by the copyright owner or by the agent, which in this case is Canva. Let me break down some of the core things you need to know moving forward. Okay, so let's say you're using elements in Canva for um, an editorial piece, whether that's print or digital, whether it's newspaper, magazine, some kind of broadcast, you must credit the original creator, or at the very least, the source from which you got the image. However, when you're creating content that is for consumption, whether that's video or promotional materials or some kind of presentation, crediting all the different elements on your work is not feasible. That's where licensing comes into play. Broadly speaking, the license gives you permission to use that element in your work. However, you are not allowed to resell that element, redistribute that element, trademark that element, or use that element in any way where it can be used by a third party. So what does this mean? Well, essentially, if you are creating any kind of print document, you're good to go because once that document is printed, a third party can't then lift those elements and use them for their own purposes. However, when it comes to digital products, content creators do need to be more considerate about how some of those elements could be reused or repurposed by a third party. When it comes to Canva templates, the same rules apply. Somebody else has created that template. Each element on that template belongs to the original creator and the complete document belongs to the person or organization that created that document. Now there are many content creators who create Canva templates and sell them on Etsy. This is okay as long as the template you're creating is created by you. And one of the reasons that this is okay to sell is because when you sell it, you're sending people back to Canva to use it, which means that if you use any pro elements, the person using the Canva template must also have a pro license or must pay for the use of individual elements. It gets murkier when it starts getting into things like PDFs and eBooks and cover pages or other images that people might come across online. If those elements can be easily used by a third party, then essentially you are redistributing those elements. The best thing that you can do when using any elements in Canva is to modify them 
or crop them in some way so they cannot be easily repurposed by a third party user. That way, if you are selling or redistributing a document that uses Canva elements, you are not inadvertently selling or redistributing Canva elements. You are selling the documents that you have created. This kind of licensing can seem quite confusing because when you pay for a license, it feels as though you have the right to use it which you do, but that doesn't mean that you have the right to sell it. Let's go back to that apartment that we rented at the beginning. You move in, you repaint the walls, you move the furniture around, you add your own touches and you take pictures. Those pictures belong to you, even if the furniture doesn't. And you can sell those pictures even if you can't sell the furniture. If you have any questions about Canva or creativity or you have a different perspective on this, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.